I had was um, in Southern California. It was from my dad. So I still remember that there's still like um, kalawang. Yes. Yeah, and then during that time, I have to put stickers just to cover that rust. So from, from then on, you know, I told myself that I'm, I'm not gonna have that kind of kalawang or rust. So from then on, I want my cars to be painted nice and something like that. So, so obviously so from passion, bringing this, this beautiful community that you made, that you created with Bumper to Bumper. Yes. Okay, so if you can take a look back, what were the challenges uh, when you first organized an event? Um, every event or car show, um, it has different challenges, like from the weather to the participants, from sponsors to venues, but we always try to have a perfect event, and we also have planned uh, for contingencies should the uh, need arose. Because sometimes there was even a time that kasabay namin yung bagyo. So we're in a car show, we're in the area already, and then there's like, um, the whole way sa Manila Bay, you know, as and by the bay, lahat yun pupunta sa mga kotse. But the good thing about that event, because of passion, because of our, the enthusiasm of all the participants, they stayed until like 5 o'clock and then the sun was up, with, uh, actually it's going down because it's sunset. Pero the weather is good and then everybody's like 20, 30,000 people na nagulat na kami bigla na dyan. So we know that for a fact that Talaga people, they have enthusiasm for cars and for the car culture of bumper to bumper. Nice. So obviously, because you see it in the States, the Baha'i, you see like the Fast and the Furious and stuff like that. And, and it's like a, when, uh, an American thing. How do you find Filipinos, um, you know, how do they take to the car shows? How do they love the car shows here? Um, the reason why Filipino love, Filipinos love car shows because they can always relate to cars. For example, when you go to a bumper to bumper car show, if you like Hello Kitty, you will see Hello Kitty car. If you like something like uh, a, a car, a race car, you will also see a race car. So everything we see in a car show, like a bumper to bumper car show, it inspires us to have that kind of car someday. So we want that car in our garage, we want that modification someday. So it's like something to aspire for. Okay, so um, the one that's coming uh, soon, how, how is this car show different from all the car shows that have happened in the past? Okay, um, bumper to bumper car show is like a theme park. So it has everything, anything, all in one show. So it has like entertainment, it, it has a concert, everything. So when you go to a bumper to bumper car show, it's like going to a theme park of cars. Everything about cars, everything you love about cars. So it's a package deal. So there's like cars, babes, music, and everything else. And it's a package deal of cars and babes. <laughs> yeah, these are the experience. Um, it's so hard to put a guy, a handsome guy, in a nice car. So it has to be something beautiful, pleasing to the eyes, with a nice car also. But what about the girls? I like no, really the advantage, the advantage of the girls going to a car show, they can look for their boyfriends having nice cars. So that's the that's the thing for uh, no, for girls. Don't be discouraged to go to car shows. If you're single, you can meet a lot of good guys and good cars also. So it's like a package deal also. So what do you say about that? So so can say if you related cars, I mean guys who take care of their cars are good guys. <laughs> no comment. So you see it? Yeah, yeah. No, um, sometimes um, they're car enthusiasts. The output of their character is through cars. Because if I'm depressed, if I'm stressed, I will for everything else about it. So I'll set it up, I'll buy something. So it's like some of my shopping. Now for car enthusiasts, it's something to do with cars. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay, so now last question, Jonathan. Um, give us five reasons why we should head over to SMO concert grounds for your next big events. Okay, um, number one, you will see over 400 show cars on display. Last year we had around 423. So this year we're planning to have like 450 or more. And then number two, aside from the cars, we have 100 beautiful models. Actually, it's more than. Last year we had around 170 car show models. And number three, there are no dull moments. So when you go to the car show, it's a full production. Um, we have a dance showdown, concert with a girl band, DJ party, variety show, and we also have a fashion show. 
Number four, if you like shoes, like, like I'm not sure if you like that. I like but, it. I was gonna say. Um, our team we love shoes, so based from our um, survey, this year it was like a sneaker company. So all of the um, the Filipino market is growing when it comes to sneakers. So we'll be bringing in Sneaker Fever Manila. So you can have swap meet, you can get the limited edition shoes, something like that. So on Sunday, that's number five, we'll be having a drive-in movie for the participants. And for the first 100 seated guests, we are giving away popcorn, free popcorn. Fun! This is fun. Okay. So there, there, there are no dull moments. Just go to the show, enjoy, experience the car culture. We call it car culture because it has something to do with the culture. It's like a lifestyle right. of Filipino car enthusiasts. Cool, and it's okay. I mean, um, so everybody can go. Like, I can bring up my family. Yes. You know, every my lolo lola. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Again, when is it? What day? Um, it's on December 5 and 6, SML of Asia Concert Grounds. So it's 160,000 square feet of car show. So meaning you have to bring your favorite set of sneakers or shoes. You can go around, move around, shop, or do something you like. You, can, you should have a full charge cell phone camera or a camera because I'm sure you will run out of battery for the whole event. And then the good thing about the event also is we have participants from all over the country. Because we are doing car shows also um, in different cities in the Philippines. So we have like 11 or 12 cities. So they'll be having their own representation during the event. So they'll be sending their best car to the event. Wow, nice. Okay, so obviously it's a whole day event, not from morning to the yes. evening. So it's a whole, whole two day event. But if you want to go to the VIP party, the dance show, then if you want to see the models more, yes. you should go to the Saturday night. We call it the VIP party. Okay. So we have the concert, the fashion show, and if you're allowed, you can also have the bikini fashion show. If you're allowed. Yeah, if you're allowed. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so Jonathan, anything else that you want to add to, to our friends from the press? Okay, um, there's so many things B2B has done for the market. A lot of shops that do not have big budgets for bigger shows were known to have started in our car show. So it's like a humble beginning for different car shops, car groups. We have given work opportunities to our car show models. We have provided our event as a playground for aspiring photographers and even bloggers. Uh, a lot of long-lasting friendships were born in our events. The friendships do not end in local scenes only. We have friendships across the nation and across the world. Because of our, of our reach right now, um, we have followers from Canada, from US, and because of that community we created, you can easily find a friend from another country, sometimes from the same town, a uh, hometown. So it's a good thing about car culture. It's not limited to one place. It's very open to everyone who loves cars. Nice. All right, well, thank you for bringing your passion to us. Thank you for bringing this car community by a lot of productions and bumper to bumper. And we will see you in December. Right. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank good you. job. Congrats. Good job.